On Tour is proudly brought to you by Shimano and Sports Inc. Arnold, Jack and I, we were like brothers. I mean, you, you'll never find another big three like us, not in, the, the, in, in playing wise, because we lived together. We traveled together. We promoted golf around the world, the entire world together. That doesn't happen anymore. It'll never happen anymore because it's a big business now. They've all got their own jets and they, they, it's just a different life and understandably so. But we competed and I think we were as three tougher competitors as you could find. And on the golf course, we wanted to beat each other so badly. But off the golf course, we'd laugh and cry together. And so we were, a, uh, an unusual time in golf and something that I cherish and to put the green jacket on me which meant so much to me as the first international player and since then so many have won because and I think I set the standard if he can win it I can win it and it's been wonderful to see such an international tournament. I remember Jock Hutchinson and Sam Sneed and some of the old timers teeing off and I always used to go and watch because I had respect for them. And now here you are in the arena in the same place. So you feel part of the tournament, which is which is really nice. And it's a little bit competitive, all wanting to outdrive each other. So it's it's a very memorable moment. You know, Augusta, you've got to be fit and strong because very few people realize to walk around this golf course is no deal. If you can walk this golf course, you are fit. Now, and I think we used to play 36 holes in a practice round. Fitness is a big part of my life. I don't think there are many people that can say they've lasted as long as I have. I'm nearly 89 and I still work out like a Trojan. And so it takes an all round. It's uh, an accumulation of a lot of things, of talent, of a good mind and a good putter. I showed somebody the other day on the 14th green. I dropped the ball like a ch just drop. 60 foot off the green. They designed these greens that architect had one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> Brian Fox, I'm so pleased he's in the field. He's got to, you see, you've got to believe. You know, it's a very hard thing to determine. Uh, if you take the superstars, and to be a superstar, you've got to win six majors, in my opinion. I, I set the standard high. They had what they called it, and it's indefinable. Everybody's got an opinion what it is. I don't know if he's got it or not. But the one thing he's got to do when he tees up here, he's got to believe that he can win. He's got to genuinely believe it. Not tell you he believes it, get on the first tee and it vanishes. Because when you get on that first tee at any major championship, it's a very different time. If Ryan can actually go out there and believe he can win, he's got the game that can do it. And wouldn't that be a great thing for New Zealand to have a Masters champion? On Tour was proudly brought to you by Shimano and Sports Inc.